other than Kendrick Lamar, Lil Wayne, and all of them, Smino is the best rapper. Oh, okay. That's a hot take. That's a hot. I respect it, though. I think Smino is the best rapper. I respect it, though. I respect it, though. Hey guys, my name is Elsie, and you're watching Round of 10. Today I'm here with one of my favorite artists. His album Forward has been on repeat for me all year. I'm here today with Jordan Ward. How you doing today, Jordan? What's up, Elsie? I'm good. good, I'm good. So today's interview is not a regular interview. It's actually a game show. It's called Round of 10. Like I said before, you can earn a point for each round. Every round has a different theme and you could earn a maximum point of 10. Are you ready? That's good. Okay. Okay, so I want to start by saying Forward is one of the best albums I've heard all year. Like, honestly, you 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 made magic with that. Um, but that name Forward rhymes with Jordan Ward. Did you come up with that name before, you know, the album? What came first? For sure. Well, the album started conceptually as a self-titled album. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do just Jordan. But then, um, you know, once I, the idea of forward kind of came to me, um, you know, I just seen the relation with the name and I know, um, I knew with the album, I wanted to introduce myself in a certain way. You know what I mean? So it just came together. Okay. Okay. That's actually fire. What's your favorite song on the project? It changes all the time. I feel like a good favorite is 0495. Okay. And then I like Cherry Moya. I love all of them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, my favorite is Bam Jam 4000, mm. I would say. Yeah. That's my favorite one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of that name, what's the convention that goes into naming your songs? Like, your songs have really interesting names. You have Bam Jam 4000, Zoomies, Chermoya, like, what's that all about? Like, how do you come up with your song names? Man, Fam Jam 4000, that name came just because the song sounded so big, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It, it reminded me of a song that you would um, do a dance to at a at a family gathering, whether it's mm -hmm. the cha-cha slide, the electric slide, or just yeah. like the two-step or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, this is like the reloaded version of it. It's like the Fam Jam 4000, you yeah. know what I mean? I wanted it to sound like, you know <laughs> what I mean? actually. Like we yeah. just brought you the new and improved Fam mm -hmm. Jam. That makes sense. The name kind of reminds me of Andre 3000. That's kind of what, what came into my mind first hearing that song. That was probably like the subconscious thing that yeah. I picked up on. Yeah, so that brings me to my first challenge, actually. So I'm going to pull up some emojis, right? And see if you could identify a song name out of the emoji. Not your songs, though, but we'll see. All right. I'm going to start with this one. Money Trees. Money Trees. Yeah. Wow, you're eating this. Yeah. White car horse? What? White Ferrari. Yes. Okay, okay. White Ferrari. Okay, you're, you're eating this. Crying sweet. Cry me a river? Wow. Okay, okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. X calling? No. Ooh. Look at the emoji though. Like, it's like. Pick up the phone? Damn. I'm gonna give you a hint though. This like a, this emoji says like maybe. Call me maybe. Mmm, call me maybe. Okay. Canadian. I gave, I gave you that hint. Yeah, you did, you did. You okay, did. the last one though. White Crocs. Perfect. Okay, starting off strong. Starting off strong, starting off strong. Okay, I'm pretty impressed. So let's move on to round two. All right, so how would you describe Jordan Ward to someone who's never heard of you or your music? How would I describe Jordan Ward? I'm a kid from St. Louis. I'm an art kid that went pro. Okay. okay. And what type of music would you say you, you know, you make? Like, if you were to categorize it, because everyone loves labels, mm -hmm. you know, what would you say? I would say, I have a few names. Okay. I mean, obviously, it's R&B, it's rhythm and blues. Okay. So, you know, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ignore that fact, but mm 
I also feel like just hip hop, alternative hip hop, man. I feel okay, like, interesting, actually. you know what I mean? Alternative yeah. hip hop, like, I feel like Kitronada, even though he doesn't rap, he's still a hip hop artist. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm a hip hop artist in that way, you know? That makes sense, actually. I think Kitronada is like, you know, there's hip hop, but there's dance too. Dance. But he's still hip hop, though, bro. The hip hop dance. elements are there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're there, though, but. Kitronada is so unique. Like yeah. some people say house music, some people yeah. say dance. So. Yeah. yeah Stoner like gospel. That's one. another one. Stoner okay. gospel. Stoner gospel. That's my first time hearing that actually. Stoner gospel. Stoner gospel. That's so good actually. Smoke. Speak my truth. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. So this next round is gonna be pretty easy. You're gonna tell me two truths and one lie about yourself, and I have to guess it. If I fill the answer. You got a point. So you got to make this really hard for me. In high school, there's a point where I had to choose between basketball and dance. Okay. I was getting really far in basketball and I just had to choose dance. I hear colors and music. So you have like, what's that name? Synesthesia. Synesthesia, mm -hmm. okay. Synesthesia and... <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna feel... I was born in Chicago. Okay, so the first one is you had to pick between basketball and dance. You have synesthesia, and you were born in Chicago. I'm gonna go with the first one. Yeah, you, you don't think I could hoop? No, I think you could hoop, but like, you don't believe it. I don't know. I wouldn't be. That I just good. feel like you were a natural like dancer, so yeah. I would never like, like you said, you were an art kid, yeah. you know. So yeah. Yeah. fuck it. Was I right? No, you were right. Oh, damn, he loses a point. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but that means I'm good. I'm yeah, good at good. this. Okay, okay. Round three. So one of your songs goes, my favorite song actually of you all time, Lil Baby Crush. You say she looks like 90s R&B. Like who looks like 90s R&B? Give us an idea. Like, who would you say looks like 90s R&B? Well, you know, it's so crazy when I really think about that. When I really thought about that, I was really talking about 90s actresses. Okay. But it's like, at that time, the R&B was synonymous with certain movies. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like I always just was in love with like, Mia Long, okay. Sonali. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Megan Good. Even though okay. she's like 2000s. Megan Good is, yeah. Or, and what's the other, oh, just other, just other actress that was, was But yeah, just them. Those are actors I was watching movies as kids, and kids, I just, yeah. I love it. Okay, okay, that's nice. 90s R&B or modern R&B, if you were to pick one? Shit, maybe modern R&B, because I'm not even really that big of an R&B guy. I don't be, I mean, I listen to Frank Ocean, I listen to, I definitely ton of R&B artists that I love, you know what I'm saying? But like, um, I feel like, I definitely like the more modern approach that isn't as traditional, you know? So you said you don't listen to the R&B a lot. What would you say tops your rotation? Hip hop? Probably hip hop. Hmm. Probably hip hop. I definitely listen to R&B though. I listen to I listen to a lot of R&B, but I, it's probably not like at the level. It's probably not at the level at which people think. You know what Ooh. I mean? Because I be singing those songs, but I be listening to right now. I'm listening to a lot of V's. Okay. okay. I always listen to Larry June. Oh. I saw that you were you were on a song with him. That's fire, actually. Yep. Yeah. I was just playing Cindy Lauper the other day. I was. Um, oh, that's that's range. Billy Joel. Okay. Joni Mitchell, like okay. jazz, like Ethiopian jazz music. That's crazy. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, Brent Fire said the same thing recently too. That he doesn't he listen really to jazz listen music. To a lot of R and B, like he's oh, yeah, more yeah, like yeah. of the hip hop. Head. So like it's really interesting that yeah I think that's you could hear that in your music though like yeah. it's not like you know traditional yeah. you know R and B I love R and B though and I mean I, mm -hmm. do you consider like Erica Badu R and B or Lauren Hill R and B neo soul yeah kinda I yeah, listen to that I consider a lot the that. internet the internet yeah like but I wouldn't call any of those artists like traditional though I would say yeah. they're still more alternative yeah. Okay, so that kind of brings me to my next challenge. So I'm going to show you some pictures, some snippets of some 90s R&B albums, and I want to see if you can identify them. Oh, God. Off just, like, looking at a snippet of an album cover. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the first one. I'll show the camera first. I feel like I'm about to lose. Oh. 
Janet Velvet Rope. Perfect. Okay. That's classic. You know your music. You know your music. I'm gonna show the Janet is one of my one. goats. Love Janet. She's on. Is she R&B? She's yes. Pop R&B. Yes. Dance R&B. Dance pop too. Yeah. <laughs> D'Angelo Brown Sugar. Yo, why are you? But see, you know what? I don't listen to D'Angelo. <laughs> like people be like, people love D'Angelo, and he's amazing. But I'm never just like, let me throw some D'Angelo on. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know what I mean? But I would say like, I mean, you're young. I'd say maybe someone like in their 40s. Yeah. Probably spin D'Angelo on a regular. Okay, let's try the third one. This might be tougher. Badu is. What oh my talking god. About? I try to make this hard. What is he talking about? But you're acing this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Fourth one. Brandy. Uh this is like her first or second one. I'm trying to remember. Damn. It's is it Brandy? One. It's Brandy. But, but is it is the album Brandy? The point. No, this is the never say never. Mm. But you know what? I'm gonna give you the point okay. because it was the second one. Okay, you, okay. You basically got okay, it. Okay, okay. Last one though. Mariah Carey Butterfly. Okay. Well, he is on a roll. He is on a roll. So I was re-watching Homecoming the other day and I saw a familiar face. Like you actually had such a prominent role actually there. How did it feel, you know, to experience and be a part of something so significant? Man, it was crazy. It was, it didn't really hit me how significant it was until afterwards really i mean it was significant for me on a personal level because beyonce. i had never danced with beyonce yeah you know what i'm saying but like i didn't realize that this was something that would be watched around the world like for years to come because you know what i mean as a professional yeah. dancer like as amazing as that job was it's, it's not much different job, from, from yeah. what we do we perform with big artists on big stages you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so i was really just at Coachella, not trying to fuck up. Like I was really just working, like let me not mess up. Yeah. And then once I got off stage. Kind of just dawned on you. Thinking nobody was paying attention to us, but everybody, the whole world saw us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. That's crazy. Shout out dude. Beyonce, man, she's crazy. Shout out to Beyonce. So I think it's really impressive that you dance too. If you could only keep one talent between making music and dancing, if you had to just pick one. Oh my goodness. Damn, it's really taking you a lot of yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> like I can't even like, because it's like, I feel like if, I, if I'm able to dance forever, I can feel music. That's like, the, I feel like dance, we have a secret power with how we feel music. Like nobody hears music the way we do. But if I can't make music, I don't know, bro. You, you think that, that gives point. you, you get that point. You get that artist? point. Oh, you want to give me the point? You got that point. Well, you got that. You know what? Okay. Okay. Does it give me an edge? I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's like one of my tools, mm -hmm. but then I look at people who play instruments, I look at people who produce, and mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, that's something that I don't do, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just try to just sharpen my tools as much as I can, you feel me? That's good advice, though. So did, did you learn anything particular from Beyonce that you kind of apply to yourself as an artist with that whole experience? Shit, just that, man, just the, she had full accountability for that. Like at the end of every night, she was the one talking to all of us, giving us mm -hmm. notes, giving the whole production crew notes, giving the mm -hmm. whole team notes. You know what I'm saying? She's like really hands on. Like on the mic, like y'all doing this, like, you know what I mean? Y'all need to do this. I'm talking about her whole park where like 40 grown adults, just like Whoa. getting yelled at by Beyonce, but not in a <laughs> negative way, just like. Like get this shit done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like there were moments in that we rehearsed 14 hours a day and I was tired, Whoa. but it's like, then I'm realizing she's she was here before us, after mm -hmm. us, she's with the family. And right when we got done, she dropped the album. So I'm like, you know what, man? The, the, the top artist in the world is not there for no reason. You know what I mean? So true. that's what I apply. It's just like, yeah, you're not that big without the work, really. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah. What's your favorite Beyonce album, by the way? Maybe Dangerously in Love, bro. Whoa. Dangerously in Love, A lot bro. of people don't say that, though. Dangerously in Love Part 2? Or is that what it's, that, that one song at the end? Whoa. Me, Myself, and I. You know, I was expecting to hear maybe Self-Titled or Lemonade. I fuck with Self-Titled. I fuck with Self-Titled. I also, I fuck with 4, too. I don't, like, that's four. my least favorite Beyonce album. <laughs> and it's not even bad by any stretch, but, like, 
My favorite is self-titled. I feel That's that. That's my favorite. Beat. That's a classic. It just came like, nah, I feel like it just changed. I feel like self-titled was like the turning point to the Beyonce we know today. Like it's just such a. It was like when Yachty dropped like project. "Let's Start Here," or like yeah, when exactly. Wayne dropped the Carter. Exactly. Like, That's how I feel like self-titled is. Yeah. So this round, um, I'm just gonna mention some Beyonce lyrics, and I wanted to see if you could guess the song. Mm -hmm. Right. So, what's worse, looking jealous or crazy? Hold oh, up, they don't love you like I love Damn, you. Damn, you know your music, though. Right? That's crazy. I, I rehearsed that You're for like months. You're like the of the game. I rehearsed that for months. Oh, yeah. Okay, that gives you an edge. That gives you an edge. Okay. I sneezed on the beat and the beat got sicker. Y'all say y'all on his mouth like liquor. Damn. Say I, I did not expect him to. On, I expected him to kind of struggle. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Always stay gracious. Best revenge is your paper. Always stay gracious. Best revenge is your paper. Come. <laughs> I see it. I want, want yeah. to smile, man, like, You're you're funny. like dancing right now, yeah. like feeling the music. Okay, so 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 he gets the points. He gets the points for this round. Simple. Okay. All right. So for this next round, just before we go on this round, could you maybe? Whoa. Sign. <laughs> Got you with a fresh sharpie too. Yeah, with a fresh sharpie. Damn. Wherever you want to sign it, you know, white so, Crocs. I, I had to do this. I had to. I just had to. The amount of white Crocs. Do you get them as gifts all the time? Definitely have way more this year than I did last year. Damn. So I guess I can't even give you this. Oh, I'm taking. I don't even know your shoe size. I'm size eight in Crocs. I'm size eight in Crocs. Size eight. Can never have enough. I feel like it's like Air Force Ones. Do you feel like, like this will be your size? If it is, you could take it. <laughs> but I wasn't this sure. This is a six, so Damn. two okay. sizes, two super. I'll take it then. I own a pair of Jordan Ward signed hey. Crocs. <laughs> so Tyler, the creator, shouted out your song, White Crocs, a few months ago. How did that moment feel just seeing him do that? It's this kid named Jordan Ward. He has a song called White Crocs that I really like. And I saw the video and it was at 29,000 views. And now I think it's at like 300,000 views. And I'm so proud of that. It's so surreal, bro. Because Tyler, the creator, is like in my top artists of all time. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I feel like there's a silent dialogue going on whenever I'm making art that's like, Tyler fuck with this? With Frank Ocean fuck with this? With Kendrick Lamar fuck with this? With Bob Marley fuck with this? So with, Steve Wonder, with Stevie Wonder, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's even times when I'll probably drop some music and I'll be like, man, Tyler the creator gonna hate this shit, but fuck. And Damn, actually, and you don't drop the song? And actually, no, 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 I do. <laughs> but I'll joke and be like, man, Tyler the creator don't think yeah. I'm white. But he actually fucks with this. It's cool. That's cool. So why white cross? I was just like, wearing them. I was just wearing them. I was actually on tour. Why not blue Crocs? Like because I seen somebody wearing white Crocs, and the way they wore them with pants, it was like <laughs> like if I were to wear white Crocs <laughs> right now with the right fit, it would almost make it look a little dressy, especially if they're super clean. I don't know. You got a point. It, you got it, a point. It, it I, I kind of see it. I kind of see it. So we was on, we was yeah. on tour in Chicago. Stopped by the Croc store. Got some. Yeah. Two months later, I ended up in a recording camp and just had them shits on and mm -hmm. just wrote about it. Yeah, I'll be afraid to wear white Crocs, so I feel like I'll get them really dirty. Yeah. So I have black Crocs, so. <laughs> Damn, you're shitting on me. Okay. Ugh. I take it. I take black it. Black Crocs. I mean, black is beautiful. <laughs> but a black Croc has passed. I take it. You know what? You're, you, you're right. You know, I always said that. Is that your favorite color? White? It's not even a color. Favorite color is green. Green. Okay, so here's a challenge. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds to name three songs with green in the title. Eric Badu. My eyes are green. Green eyes. Okay. One. Green eyes. Nicki Minaj. Seeing green. What? And um. Who are you, my bro? Who are you? Green Kiyosaishi. Okay. Okay. You're a student of the game. Yeah. You know what? I take it. I take it. Okay. So. <laughs> I loved your Tiny Desk concept, by the way. Thank you. Was that something you'd been like anticipating for a while? I mean, shit. I definitely was always dreaming about doing that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Tiny Desk, man. Thank y'all for having me, for real. 
Yeah, I'm, I like I loved it. Thank I, you. I, I enjoyed that so Thank much. You. Um, what's your favorite Tiny Desk ever? Just love the Mac Miller one. Mm -hmm. Love the Erica Badu one. Mm -hmm. Love the Saba one. I just discovered the internet one. Oh yes, that was crazy. Yes. I feel like T Pain is like oh yeah the original oh, yeah. yeah and Usher yeah. is pretty Usher that, Usher's one was really was good crazy. too yeah okay okay and which artist would you like to see on Tiny Desk that don't already have one Alex Vaughn okay Smino for sure for sure Smino for sure um Kendrick yes. Cleo Soul Cleo, Cleo Soul she hasn't done one yet yes Cleo I would Soul. definitely want to see Cleo you listen to a lot of Cleo. I just started really tapping in, but I've been hearing her for years. Mm. But I've been listening to Soul a lot. Okay, it's yeah, the, the band. Yeah. Lido. Okay. Gotta get a Lido too. Lido, yeah. He was there though for your tiny desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to give you a trivia now. What do you think is the most viewed tiny desk on YouTube? So we have Mac Miller, Dua Lipa. Anderson Pack and the Free Nationals or Usher. Oh, the Anderson Pack one is crazy. That's another one. That's crazy. That was pretty good. Um, so which one? I'm gonna say the Mac Miller. Okay, sorry, you missed Dua that Lipa? point. It's Dua Lipa. Of course. Yeah, but Pop she star. just edges by, yeah. you know, just a, just a couple of minutes. Shout out Dua Lipa though. She's dope. She's pretty good. I rock her. Yeah, she's pretty good. A lot of people say R and B, traditional R and B is dying. Do you really think that's Fuck really the no. case? Yeah. Fuck no. <laughs> Smooth is the number one song in any country right now. Facts. It's the most SZA. traditional R&B R &B song ever. Like, yeah. I, I really have never, ever understood that. Like, how is R&B did when, I feel like, I feel like R&B actually took over. Sorry for Smooth. I feel right like, now. I feel like niggas stopped listening to rap and started listening to R&B. Yeah, same. I you feel like the saying? genre is really like flourishing right now. Yeah. That's what I like. I personally feel like people say that from a place of not liking the new sound, mm -hmm. which is, that's fair. So they can say their version of it is dead. But not from like a real, like objective, you know. Oh, I think, I, I think people be butthurt. And it's not me included. Like I could literally name so many modern R&B, bro, like Destin Conrad, Ombre, like, Amindi, she be rapping, but yeah, you got Amindi, Ryan Trey, Ryan Trey, you got Trey Jasmine Brad, Sullivan, so many good. Amindi, yes, like like what Victoria Monet, Victoria Monet, like, cool, basically, nah. like yeah. I, when people say that, I'm like, <laughs> you officially don't know what you're talking. When people say any of that, R and B is that hip hop is that music sound the same. I'm like, I hate when people you're, say this type you're of thing. not tapping, you're just snitching on yourself. Facts, in my opinion. Facts, I agree. Okay, so I have some lyric phrases. Mm -hmm. I want you to guess the artist. The first one is. I'll go to hell or jail about you, boy. Is it SZA, Summer Walker, or Jenny Aiko? Summer. Damn. Is it Summer? Yes. I feel okay. like she would say something like that. <laughs> Next one. If you're gonna waste your time, then waste your time with me. Brand fire! Don't even let me give the options. Okay, fine. The last one. Me? This is an R&B though. I guess you lose some and you win some, as long as the outcome is it's income. Because you lose some of this. That. Jerry. Damn. Okay. Okay. He gets the point. He gets the point. Okay. Tell me one hot music take you have. One. Ooh. One hot music take. Let's let's do it for the Twitter timeline. One hot music take. Man. I don't even know if this hot. Other than Kendrick Lamar, Lil Wayne, and all of them, Smino is the best rapper. Oh. Okay. That's a hot take. That's a hot. I respect it though. I think Smino is the best rapper. I respect it though. I respect it though. I think he has his own vibe and everything. I think he's the best. Well, and another music take, hot music take. St. Louis is the best city for music right now, but stop playing. I mean, you got SZA. SZA, Sexy Red, Ryan Smino, Trey, Smino, like, Metro Boomin. That's valid. I don't even think that's Dylan really Brady. a hot take. I don't really think that's a hot take. I think you're pretty valid with that. Bitch, St. Louis. <laughs> Are you a production or lyrics guy when you first listen to music? Like, what do you hear first? I honestly just try to feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I try not to listen too hard to any to mm -hmm. it and just let the lyrics hit me over time. But I feel like energetically, if I'm connecting with it, then mm -hmm. everything else will 
It's okay, well. but I'm, I'm listening to lyrics. And I'm, yeah. It just depends. I barely hear lyrics on first listen, though. Like, like I love so production focus. I but know. you know what, though? I, I love learning the lyrics, though. Like, I love, like, even somebody like Playboy Cardi, one of my favorite artists, like, I know all the lyrics to Whole lot of Red. I know <laughs> so those lyrics. So you can hear everything? No, I just have, you know, the, I just have the lyrics though. up, and I'm just, like, learning that shit. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. For sure. 20 seconds. If you were stuck on an island, you could only take three albums with you, not including yours. Which albums are you going with? Stevie Wonder, Inner Visions. Okay, you got 10 seconds now. Stevie Wonder, Inner Visions, Kendrick Lamar, The Pimple Butterfly, um, Internet Ego Death. Okay, pretty good takes. Pretty good takes. I respect it. I respect it. I saw one of your tweets a while ago. You said Missy Elliott is one of your biggest influences visually, musically. Which other artists would you say inspired you heavily? For sure, I grew up in the MTV era uh, when they was really running music videos. So like Missy Elliott videos was like some of the first videos I seen kids dancing. Dance like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Allison Stoner and all these kids. So Missy Elliott for sure. Some of my some of my other inspirations, mm -hmm. visually and musically, both. Right? I mean Missy Elliott, Kendrick, Pac. I was a big Pac kid. Oh. Um, Hove, Nas. I, 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 I feel like everybody relates to Pac, but though in those ways I relate to him a lot. You know what I mean? Okay. Frank Ocean, Erica Badu. Pretty wide range, though. Yeah. Okay, and if you had to pick one of these artists to feature on a song, which one are you going with? Erica Badu. Why? Cause she the goat. Okay. She I respect she it. She reposted the video when I said I want to work with her last time. Really? So I don't know what that means. Do you think? Years. Do you think it's gonna happen? Hell yeah! I think I wish it happened. So yeah. I'd love to hear a Jordan Ward and Erica Badu song. Oh, I think it'll go crazy. <laughs> I think it'll go crazy. Okay, so you know what? For round ten, I'm just gonna give you the point. You know, just cause, cause, like you've shown like you're a student of music. So fire speaking with you today. You're like, guys, he's he's a goat. He's a goat. This is a goat right here. He's a goat. Right here. All right. See you guys next time.